My greetings to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21. Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights Core Campaign! The final episode! Ah, uh, yes. Last time, we fought Arabeth. Had to uh, redo the fight a couple times because of instant death mechanics. Uh, convinced her to turn herself into uh, Lord Nasher and killed Mogrim. And grabbed the fourth and final word of power in his possession. After speaking with Hadrian, we need to head into the Source Stone and take care of Morag herself. And how do we do that? Well, we use the words of power to enter the Source Stone of all things. Ah, we got some people here. For honor and glory. Screw you, Chess! How dare you be locked? I'm all done here. And yes, the reason why Linu's in practically lingerie at this point is because I am a paranoid motherfucker about her equipment getting reset. Hello there. Huh? What? Oh, you startled me. I was rather engrossed in these manuscripts must afford as me look for. Fascinating reading. These documents date from the time of the creator race, if you believe that. Hopefully they'll give us some insight to the source stone we unearth. I need to see the source stone. Yes, well, you have to speak to Master Ford about that. Now, is there something else? Or can I get back to my parchment and tomes? You can get back to your parchments and tomes. Finally, I can return to these manuscripts. They're far more interesting than you, I must say. Well, screw you, too, you little gnome bastard. I should kill you on principle. <sighs> anyway. Might as well uh, loot these things. Since I'm here. Locked. I'm not gonna bother examining you, I'll just destroy you. Alright then. Eagle Splendor. And Potion of Endurance. Ah, Master Ford, we need to talk to you. Greetings, I am Master Ford, head archaeologist of Neverwinter. Lord Nasher mentioned someone might be coming to investigate the Source Stone. The Source Stone is a remarkable discovery, I must say. Fascinating. I've been an archaeologist for nearly half a century, and i never come across anything like it before. I tried to pry some of its secrets from Hadrian. There is a creature Lord Nasher has imprisoned in the dungeons, but she doesn't seem to trust me. Well, Master Ford, I need to see the Source Stone. Um, yes, yes of course. Why would I be the only one allowed to see it? It isn't mine, after all. Go right in and take a look if you want. I doubt it will do you much good, however. There doesn't seem to be any way to unlock the secrets of the stone. I thought the words of power might be the key, but they haven't done anything so far. How come nobody noticed this stone down here before? It was only after that lizard creature Hadrian told us of the source stone existed that we began to search beneath the dungeons of Castle Never for hidden passages. We found the secret door easily enough. It was almost too easy, considering nobody ever noticed it before. It's almost like the Source Stone wants itself to be found now. I see. I'll leave you to your business, Master Ford. Feel free to speak to you again anytime, Jack. I'm always eager to discuss the Source Stone. Well, all right. Do 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 do. What do we got here? Pedestals. Word of power. Word of power. Word of power. Word of power. Now then. Since we have the final word stone, we just need to place it in here. If you have anything left to do, side quests, as much as they are, <laughs> the only two that you can actually do here, or if you want to head up top to the uh, merchants to sell any uh, items, buy anything else, yada yada yada, yeah. this is the time to do it. Because as soon as we enter this portal, as soon as we put the word of power in, we are cut off from the rest of the world. The Stone of Recall will no longer work as soon as we enter that. So let's rest up. Place the Word of Power on the pedestal. The path is open. Now, it's time to finish this. A voice speaks softly as you near the source stone. The way is open, 
Enter and you shall see hope. You shall see wonder. You sa shall see all things revealed. You can feel the power of the source stone tugging at you. Enter the source stone. And we are immediately attacked by old one warriors. Thankfully for us, I am more than capable of dealing with these guys by tanking. In fact, Lulinu does not need ammunition for her crossbow. Now that we are actually here, it is safe for us to actually give her back her equipment. As soon as we deal with these assholes. There's a cruel arrogance in this reptilian humanoid's bearing. Community regeneration. It's also blind. That's nice. We'll be fighting nothing but uh, lizard men from here. All right then, Li Nu. Hey there, dear. What can I do for you? Huh. Go figure. Okay, it's time to actually give you your clothes back. God damn it, click on the inventory button. Tower shield. Oh my god. I'll just do this then. Oh boy. Gotta do it the long way. Yoink. Yoink. Uh, Lena, you want to fix out your uh, armor situation, or it's because you have stone skin on? Oh, we can actually rest here. these tools. Okay, I think I know how to solve this. Uh, where's that elven chain? Hey there, dear. What can I do for you? Oh, something's wrong here. Oh, you're locked. All right, dear. I'm getting hmm. here. I'm Something is here. great. Leaves inventory is bugged again. Great, just great. You know, I decide to give you back your inventory, and what happens? You do this to me. Thanks, game. Thanks a lot. I can't even move it. Oh my god! This is a bunch of bullshit. What the hell? Why is this here? Should be over here. Oh wait, I know how to fix this. Quick save! And load the quick save. That should have fixed it. There we go. Problem solved. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Um... Okay. How, I accidentally uh, full screened the game. That's not good. That's not good at all. Damn it! Whew, okay. 
All right. A little technical difficulty there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Can I get my map back up? Thanks, game. All right then. For honor and glory. All right, dear. I'm all Linu's done fully kitted here. out. I'm fully kitted out. Whatever remaining treasure is actually gonna give me, it's not gonna do me that much good. Oh, I hear combat music. Old one of ochre. The dark secrets, you say, of the arcade. All right, and you're invisible. Hey, it's spell magic works. And you no longer have st well you had no longer had stone skin. Yes, yeah, you should keep doing that. You should really keep doing that. Stupid evoker. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Destroying chests. You know the cavern I can understand, but white chests. Why is there loot here? Oh, whatever. Maybe they were fucking vain as hell. Or who knows, this could all be storage. Although I don't know why they would keep money and valuable gems as storage. Whatever. Oh, just to make a point. What the actual fuck? I remember that not working. Okay. The game decides to make a fool out of me. I see how it is. A sheriff. Little drastic clothing from a strange and unfamiliar land, the physical resemblance between this elven pal and Arabeth is uncanny. Is this place also an extra planar dimension? I see by looking at you that you are not from my world of Azala, but I thank you for your aid nonetheless. Had you not intervened, I fear I would have succumbed to the scaled raiders. My name is Ashira of the Shining Order from the city of Sahaladar. Well, except for your clothes, you look like Arabeth de Tomorad. My garments are those of my people, though perhaps they look as strange to you as your own garb does to me. As for the name Erebeth, I have no knowledge of her. Was she a companion of yours? Well, she was a hero of our people once, until she fell and betrayed us to Morag. Morag? That name is known to me. The Queen of the Scaled Raiders! Her face has haunted my dreams. Her voice hissing whispered promises of power to tempt me to turn against my people. But I am of the Shining Order, sworn in service to Sahaladar, greatest of the floating cities on Azala. Okay, cut off, why don't you? How did you get here? After much searching, the magicians of Sahaladar discovered a portal in my world, a gate leading to this pseudo-plane where many universes converge. Six were chosen to come through the portal. Though we knew we could not return. Okay. <sighs> well, she has failed, huh? Failed? Oh, you failed. Ah, okay. Not fully voice acted, just somewhat voice acted. I see how it is. Ah, okay, she's gonna give us an artifact, huh? What was it? Actually, what does it do? Ah, okay. A salty uh, smell drifts through this impenetrable door. Do Past the door, you see waves pound mercilessly against a tall green tower that sits alone in the center of a great sea. She gave me an amulet. What's the amulet? Well, if I could find it. 
Ah, here we are. Plus three armor versus reptilian creatures. Electricity, 25% immunity bonus. Fire, 25% immunity bonus. And spell resistance, 14. Hey, Linu, guess what? You get a new amulet. Your wisdom score is 18. I mean, you might get some bonus spell slots, but probably not that many just from having 21 wisdom. Evoker, evoker, well, evoker and a warrior. Ah, oh, you were sleeping? Firestorm, interesting. Damn, we are cutting through that stone skin. Make this fight count. It will see what a true warrior looks like. Come on, old one warrior, fall to your death like the rest of your species. Thank you. Let me guess. Locked. Locked. Ugh, oh fine. Dear. Fine. Potions. Oh, a quarter staff plus three. If I was actually using a quarter staff, I would actually be thankful for that. Although quarter staffs are actually fucking useless as weapons. Because their damage is piss poor. Why is it 1d6? It should at least be a d8. It's a two handed fucking weapon. Ow. Fucking acid damage, I swear. Why'd I pick up normal arrows? Ow, ah, electricity. I'm all done here. I bet you are. Shall we rest? When the game lets me. Okay, I distinctly remember the Stone of Recall not working at a certain point. And I thought it was this point. But maybe it's... Maybe I'm thinking of something else here. I'm most likely thinking of something else. I'm quick saving out the ass because I do not want to do all things over again. What's this store say? You blink. A stone to see past this unbreakable uh, door. Tall do trees that. stretching up to a Sorry. green blue sky. Blue. Green sky, not green. Fucking dyslexia. I don't even have that and that fucked me over. <sighs> yes, you can keep casting all the spells you want to evoke Mr. Evoker. You're still going to die by Righteous Fury. Ow! There you are. Ouch, fire damage. Your stone skin isn't helping you, sir. Well, that's another one dead. Oh, a loot bag. For thieves tools. I am not a fucking thief. Quit giving me thieves tools. I can't use them. Lidu can't use them. They're only good for selling. They're also good for baiting me into traps, apparently. Here. Oh boy. Spells don't have accuracy problems, but apparently melee does. Rest again. Oh boy. Gonna be fighting nothing but lizard folk from here. 
It's like beginning of fucking Neverwinter Nights 2 all over again. Well, technically, the beginning of Neverwinter Nights 2 is a fair that leads into fighting Bladelings and Durgar, then you fight lizard folk. And Scarab, of all things. Yes, it's better to use the weapon than your fist, warrior. I really should give Lino a better weapon. Can I actually please hit this motherfucker? Uh, Lino Mask Heal doesn't work for you. Uh. You know, I think giving her a ring of elemental resistance isn't really doing much for me at the moment, apparently. Would you stop doing that? You're an annoying cocksucker, you know that? Fuck's sake. Would you stop casting spells at me, you bitch? This is annoying. Asshole. I will stab you with my sword. Motherfucker, your magic missiles ain't gonna work. And your fireballs ain't gonna work. Oh, no more cone of cold? That's what you get for wasting your spells. Moron. <sighs> I have one thing to say about Tomi Undergals in this part. At least he can dodge fucking spells sometimes. You guys have a lot of HP. You know what I found, find hilarious? Yesterday I looked up what level Mogram is classified as. He's classified as a level, get this, a level 20 wizard and a level 8 cleric. And he was extremely fucking easy. What the fuck? There's something wrong there. I am so glad I did not turn the AI to have better AI. Well, for enemies at least. Apparently, it doesn't count for uh, Linu knowing how to actually hear herself correctly with the proper spell. This mass heal only works for your allies. Heal works for yourself. <sighs> Let's go get our cleric back. Come on, Linu. Let's rest up. Alright then, moving on. Do I have anything that's actually better than just a normal plus three fucking club? That's 1d6. Lena, let me see your actual weapon here. Uh, do I have... Any sort of improvement when it comes to weapons. I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, I got a feeling this ain't doing work for you, which is stupid. 
I don't know why it's not working for you. Whatever. Uh, we. Would cudgel? Maybe? It's better than doing just plain old damage. Need to rest again because I moved around. There are enemies nearby. Well, we can't have this. Oh, where's this door lead? Uh, I don't think Just I can On the do other that. side, defy words or thoughts. Sorry. You are content to walk away from this one. The future door. Oh, it's the inner sanctum I'm thinking of where the uh, stone recall doesn't work, I think. Oh, you gave me a plus two greatsword. Thanks, game. I could sell that for some cash. All right, dear. I'm getting to it. You just literally picked the best weapon, huh? Well, alright then. In that case, I'm going to give you... This Mace Plus 3. And this Flame Tongue Sword. Pick your best weapon, Lino, and stick with it. I swear to God, if she's gonna stick with the club, I'm gonna be kind of annoyed. What's this door? You said something beyond this door. Uh, Although you cannot see I them, in your mind's that. eye, winged creatures Sorry. drop from the skies beyond this door, spilling forth wide mouths of all manner of weird and monstrous beings. Aliens! I won't say they're references, but I do not know. Leave no slave alive! A chieftain! Kill the evoker first. Yes, casting the spell magic at me is really gonna help you. Ah, she switched to the flame tongue. Excellent. Now that's damage I like to see, Linu. Much better. Kinda wish I had a better belt to give you, but uh, I think I sold it. My complete accident, because they look the fucking same. Did you just seriously mind blast? Really? Well, Linu. Fortunately, the spell magic doesn't work like that. Now, if you're using clear mind, or calm mind, or whatever the spell that makes you immune to mind magic. That's what you're thinking of. Die by my hand, chieftain! Oh, don't you quaff potions! That's my job! That's in my job description, goddammit! Well, you know, mass heal is well and good, but I'm the only fucking party member! If we had summon creatures, that would be a different story. Well, she didn't save against the negative energy. How much HP do you have? Can I actually hit you? At all? What did you just do? She's dazed. You literally stunned her, you bastard. Well, it doesn't help when you can't hit her. She has like 41 armor class compared to you guys. If you were also classified as dragons, that'd be even more. Because right, actually, yeah. if you were classified as dragons yeah. and reptiles, I'd wear that amulet and my dragon slaying shield. But you're not, you're just classified as reptiles. Reptilians. Lizard men. I know if I was a ranger, I'd be able to uh, do something against you guys really badly. Because the ranger's preferred enemy is great. To uh, not dust. Hello, Dire Badger. Come on, Lino. We're gonna let him set off the trap. Ooh, that's powerful acid right there. At least I don't get stunned. That's always a plus. Fire arrows. A long sword that I can't identify. A loot bag. A raised dead scroll. Nothing in the barrel. Okay, Lido, can you identify hey, any of this? What can I do? 
Let's see. Cold Iron Blade, Scale Mail plus two, Great Archer's Belt, and Amulet of Will plus five. I'm more interested in that sword. That's a plus one, one d six. Boo. It's worse than what we've got. Damn it. Now, if I was a dick, I'd just cut the episode right here, but we're not! Into the Inner Sanctum! Um... Who called in the dragons? <laughs> who called in the dragon squad? <laughs> okay. Copper dragons are incorrigible pranksters, joke tellers, and riddlers. Most good are good natured, but have a covetous misery. Mis miserly streak. Silver dragons are regal and statuesque. They cheerfully assist good creatures in genuine need, often take the form of human or elven to maintain their anonymity. Well, it's a good thing we're using a fire sword. Um. Okay. This is happening. Let's go kill some dragons. If we weren't immediately fucking feared. Well, great. Ugh. Uh, I think it's... Okay, the silver dragon are the second strongest of the, uh, chrome... Of the metallic dragons. Uh, if I'm remembering right, copper are considered some of the weakest. This is gonna be a lot harder than I think it would be. Uh, can I pour it out? Yes, I can! Whew! Okay, I did not expect dragons to show up, okay? I did not expect dragons. Corrupted dragons at that, because normally they wouldn't attack us. Good dragons don't attack people on sight. Evil dragons do. Okay. Hey there, dear. What? Now it's book part of the party up for battle against dragons. I knew I should have pre-buffed myself before I entered the portal, but no! I figured we don't need it. Ugh, that was a bad decision in itself. Oh boy. I'm all done here. Indeed you are. Let's try this again. Without facing fear this time. Face me, dragon! Oh, Lean is paralyzed. That's great. Yes, yes, use your breath weapons. You can only do that three times. And Lean falls like usual. Sorry, dragons. Uh, ow. Whoa, that just happened. Okay. Alright. I see how it is. Stone of Recall immediately. Hey there, dear. Let's try it again. Both the party up. And if I'm remembering right, the maximum level for companions in the main story is level 15 regardless. Oh, I am less than 4,000 away. That is hilarious. I wonder how much these dragons will give me. 
Is the game gonna be nice to give me another level? Lenu, summon a creature to aid us in battle, please. A huge water elemental. Ah, good on the random, random drop. Okay, let's see how we do this time. Well, I didn't get feared. I did get feared that time. Well, actually, this is, that's a good diversionary tactic. Excuse me. They can waste their breath weapons, and I can uh, wait out the fear. Would you stop casting? Oh, actually, I can't ask you to stop doing that, considering that's what you naturally do. You breathe fucking elements at us. More crits, please. That'd be great. Well, holy shit, Lenu, you actually healed yourself. Impressive. Well, that was a waste of a potion. Yes, keep breathing. Keep wasting away those charges. You only get three. Of an element. If she can breathe more than one type of element, you only get three of that. Well, that's one dragon dead. 384. Hey, asshole! Attack me, you douchebag. Hey, dragon, I'm talking to you! Well, that didn't do as much damage as I hoped it would. <laughs> How do you like that? Yes, you drink those potions, Lenu. Wait, you have potions in your inventory still? I guess you get them back as soon as you get back to the temple. Don't worry, Lenu, I can drink potions too. Well, I, I like the healing, Lenu. I like the healing. I like it a lot. But could you do something about this asshole in front of us? Firestorm! That'll do something. Not as much as I hoped it would. Kinda wish that did more. You will fall, dragon! Like the rest of your kid around us. Yeah, suck it. 384 times 2. That's 8, 6, or 1. Uh, 768 experience? For that encounter. <laughs> okay, gold pieces. A guardian key and some dragon blood. I don't think we need the dragon blood. What did the uh, freaking uh, copper dragon drop? Guardian key and some more dragon blood. I'll take this dragon blood. I don't know what's there between the other dragon blood. Okay, that was the thing. Funny gets two. Whoops. I clicked off screen. Man, I am just all over the place. Okay, were these dragons actually guarding anything or what? Uh, nothing over here. Oh. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, that's really kind of disappointing. Uh, okay, they weren't guarding anything. They were just obstacles in my way to kill Morag. That sounds about legitimate. Let's, do the, let's go through the doors, then. Key has been used. Another key has been used. Well, that's not disturbing at all. Let's rest.
All right then, we're all rested up. Save. The inner sanctum. The door by which you enter the inner sanctum vanishes. Recall stone is unable to transport you from this area. This is the area I was thinking of. It's like I remember this the source stone no longer a source stone. I remember the recall stone not working anymore. I was just at the wrong area to say it. Okay, at this point, there's no turning back. Which means, if Linu dies, she's dead, permanently. I can't get her back. So if she dies, I'm on my own for the rest of this encounter. Which is most likely going to happen, because, um, uh... Yeah, Morag's a bitch. Not feeling very talkative today, dear. Dear Jack, I would like to talk to you for a moment. Yes, Linu, what did you want to talk about? We are about to go into a desperate battle, or we might lose our lives, Jack. I feel that I need to share something with you. This battle that we face with Morag frightens me desperately. I didn't think I would ever be able to face this day, though I have known it would come for some time now. Yet, now that the time has come at last, I find that I have mastered my fear, and it is all because of you. I have drawn courage from following the greatest hero of our time, Jack. We've been a team this entire time, Linu. You too are a hero in my books. Thank you for the compliment. But I would still be trapped or dead in a plague-ridden Neverwinter if it weren't for you. That's if I hadn't managed to burn the entire city down around me. I can't tell you the number of nightmares I've had about this coming battle, where I would slip in some blood and knock you into a huge chasm. Or I would start casting a healing spell and it would get wrong and you'd be turned inside out. Or you would just be about to kill Morag and I'd lean to a giant boulder that would fall over and crush you. Linu, in all the times that we've been together, you have never done any of the clumsy things that you said. Maybe it's just a lack of confidence. I was just about to say that. I have learned from your confidence and skill and I truly believe that, no matter what happens next, I'm, I'm a stronger, better person than I was when we first met. I know now that I can have all the grace and elegance of my elven ancestors. I just have to believe in myself. That is a lesson I don't think I would have learned without you, Jack. Thank you for your kind words, Leo. Now let's go show them what legends are made of and kick some scaly ass! I love the fucking pose she does. <laughs> oh boy. Well, good on you, Leno, for gaining your confidence. Still, you put locked treasure chest in front of my path. What the fuck, game? I'm all done here. Ugh. <sighs> Oh boy, it's time for the final battle! I wanna say final countdown, but that's fucking copyright music. Ugh! Fucking bullshit is what it is. I don't put fucking ads on my videos. Motherfucking copyright hold fucker fucker fucker. Oh boy! It's a good thing I quick save. Uh, Lino. Hey there, dear. Before we charge into the room filled with lizard men, let's buff ourselves up. Furry? Excuse me, boys. I'll deal with you in a minute. Excuse me. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe with this, I'll actually be able to get that little up. I don't, I don't uh, count on it. But quick save. We are the masters, the creators, the old ones. Long have we slept, and in our absence, the lesser races have gone bald. The slaves act as kings, building cities and nations, and laying claim to that which is ours. Bear down the cities. Death to the warm bloods. Hadrilin and the word slaves have betrayed us, abandoning us to our exile within the Source Stone. Death to the traitors! Ha! 
death to the world slaves. The time of awakening has come. The creators shall rise again and unleash vengeance on the world that has forgotten us. Hail, Morag! Lead us Greetings to, to you. A storm of fire shall banish the endless winter. The city of slaves shall be utterly consumed <laughs> by the flames of our rebirth. The high priests prepare the final rituals that will unlock the source stone idea. and free us from our prison. Soon. Well, that kicked off a lot faster than I expected it to. And hey, he was immediately knocked down. Okay, let's take care of the glare. We kill him, the rest of these guys are easy. Do 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 do. You know, this encounter was harder the first time I got here. But I like to think between then and now, I got smarter. And how to actually play the game. <laughs> My diffic the difficulty I've had so far has been me being stupid, not me actually, the game actually being legitimately hard. There are times where the game is legitimately a challenge, but it's not bullshit. Now, if I were to put on the hardcore rule set, I would be it dead a lot, a lot more. Because the hardcore rule set does not give two shits about you at all. I will never play a D&D game on core rules. Because that's just being unfair. I like having some control of my RNG bullshit. Not having no control over my RNG bullshit. Remember what I said about the game being kind of giving me a level up? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Unless... Killing fucking more, I guess me a little up. I doubt it. Man, that was a hell of a lot easier than the last time I fought him. <laughs> Picking your proper targets and having being properly prepared is a good thing. Okay, behind this door should be Morag, Queen herself. Let's rest. If the game's gonna let me rest, you're not gonna let me rest, are you? Um. Game? I'm not gonna be able to rest now, am I? Fuck. Well, in that case, gonna have to make a hard save for this one. Final battle. And it's time for me to actually be prepared to use my scrolls. Okay. That's her. Uh, do, 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 do. Greater stone skin. Spell mantle. Uh, what else? Premonition. Planar binding. Actually, protection versus the elements. I use that on Renu, because she gets hit by spells a lot. Okay, here we go. I was kind of expecting a final challenge to be put here. <laughs> oh well. Okay. It's time to fight the queen bitch herself. You are powerful for a slave. You have slain Morgrim, the prophet who heralded my coming. You have defeated Erebus, the champion I chose from among my slave races. You have slaughtered many of my warriors and priests. But now you face Morag, Queen of the Old Ones, High Priestess of the Creators. Kneel, slave, and I shall let you live! Hold up, pause. Look at this bullshit! Morag, Queen of the Old One, advise all the Royal Majesty, ancient power, and evil cruelty of the creator races. Damage immunity to cold. Well, cold. Fire. Electricity. 
Drops, Acid, Sonic, Disease, Fear, Critical Hits, Death Magic, Knockdown, Negative Level, Ability Decrease, Mind Spells, Paralysis, Poison, Sneak, Attack, Damage Immunity Increase, AAC Increase, Attack Increase, Damage Increase, Spell Immunity, Spell Resistance Increase, and she has True Seeing. This fight is bullshit. You cannot kill her when she's like this. Not even the battle, final battle in Shadows of Undertide or Hordes of the Underdark is this fucking cheap. She's the most broken final boss ever in this fucking series. Unless I... Actually, I never completed Neverwinter Nights 2 or any of its expansions, so I can't say anything about that. But here's the thing. You see the glowing pillar guys and the, uh... Uh... Fucking, uh, what's it called? Blade Wall? Blade Wall. Yeah, sure, that's it. All of her protections stem from these guys. Kill them, her protections weaken. So the best thing to do is to bum rush these fuckers and pray that whoever stays here fighting her survives. Anyway. I bow to no one, Morag. I shall rip away your flesh and feast upon your soul. <laughs> Yeah, about that. I have quick saving! Fuck you! What the actual fuck? Okay, that happened. Let's try that again. Okay, running into it is not the best of idea. Let's destroy the statue first. Uh, Morag? Oh, my god. <laughs> I sure tell me I glitched it out because. Oh, this is fucking hilarious. Do 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 do! Do 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 do! Since I'm here. I can't believe! Oh hey, green slot. Oh yeah, I'm fucking chaotic neutral, not good, so. Damn it! Just kinda hope for the Archon, but. Well, never mind! You're proven to be worth it, slot! That spell was great. Would you die? Do. Um. Okay. Wow. I just made this a hell of a lot easier on myself now. Hey, Morag. Get ganked. <laughs> well yeah, about that, lady. Um. Oh, time stop, that's great. You're already badly wounded, you stupid bitch. Oh, great. This is gonna be Karmic Retribution. Oh, more egg! Wow, that was sad. That was so sad. Wow. And Morag is actually pretty tough as she actually gets the spells going. Oh shit, meteors falling everywhere. Grab these short swords. Um. Well, I just made the final boss my little bitch. Oh, let's grab the great axe. Get the fuck out of here. This place is coming down on our heads. I will never mock you again, Green Slot. You did your work. I am proud of you, sir. And you're only level nine? You did all that and you're only level nine? Damn! I'm impressed. Oh, hey, Hadrilene's here. Morag 
than the rest of the old ones. The source stone collapsed. The source stone collapsed? What are you talking about? When you destroyed Mora, you destroyed her magic as well. The world she had created, the source stone, crumbled into nothingness. And all trapped within it were utterly I used my magic to open a portal from the collapsing source stone into this astral pocket. A temporary place of refuge between that world and your own. I am glad you found the portal and escaped with your life warm blood. The words of power are broken, and my magic is fading. Soon I will pass this existence, and this astral pocket will also collapse. Pass from exist existence. Are you dying? The time of the creator race is over. Most excellent! No place for me in this world. Just as there was no place for more I have accepted this world. You have faced Morag and the old ones and triumphed. Even the foul and ancient magics of the Dark Queen could not stand against your might. Savior of Neverwinter, Wormblood. Of not just your own world, but a thousand others that would have fallen to Morag's arm. I only did what had to be done. You could have faced Morag's power. Your work is far from done. I have seen glimpses of what fate awaits you. Your legend and fame will continue to grow, spreading throughout the north. But Morag will not be the most dangerous foe you face in your lifetime. As you become ever more powerful, so will those who seek to destroy me. What are you talking about? Who seeks to destroy me? There are many who will try to steal what you have worked so hard for. And others will seek to forge their own legend by destroying you. Your enemies will band together. They will strike when you least expect it. of fame and fortune. More than this I cannot say. For my magic has grown weak with the destruction of the words of power. And the mists of time cloud my vision. Quickly now, Warlord. I cannot sustain this astral pocket much longer. The portal behind me will return you to your own world. Goodbye. Good one. I thank you for all you have done. Never again will I be a word slave. Go through the port, so that I may finally pass to my long awaited return. Well, so long, Hadrian. Let's get the fuck out of here, cause this place is fucked. In the end. Victory. Without Morag, the Source Stone crumbled, and the great empire of the Old Ones was finally laid to rest. 
The deaths of these ancients could be felt throughout Neverwinter. Deprived of Morag's influence, the invading army faltered. The siege was soon turned. The toll of the battle had been high, but Neverwinter would not be consumed by grief or regret. Too many had already made that mistake. The city would rebuild and move forward. And what of the honored champion who had fought so hard while others fell? Their story does not end here, for this is a world of infinite tales. New adventures still await, and new legends are yet to be forged. In the end, victory. Without Morag, the Source Stone crumbled, and the great empire of the Old Ones was finally laid to rest. The deaths of these ancients could be felt throughout Neverwinter. Deprived of Morag's influence, the invading army faltered. The siege was soon turned. The toll of the battle had been high, but Neverwinter would not be consumed by grief or regret. Too many had already made that mistake. The city would rebuild and move forward. And what of the honored champion who had fought so hard while others fell? Their story does not end here, for this is a world of infinite tales. New adventures still await, and new legends are yet to be forged. Well then, that was an adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been no God 21 This has been Let's Play Neverwinter Nights Core Campaign. Well, uh, let's see. The story of Jack, the hero of Neverwinter, has ended for now, but, uh... As the case may be, the soul hops out of the body and into a new one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. For next time, we're going to start our adventures in the shadows of Undrentide. But until then, thanks for watching. I'll work the evening, and I'll see you all next time. Enjoy the credits that I painstakingly put into this fucking video.